And hello YouTube, this is GS Mammoth Smart, and in today's video we're going to show you how to retrieve old versions of websites or web pages, how to get cached copies of certain sites, and even how to view deleted pages that are no longer available but still viewable with a neat little tool. What's up everybody, GS Man Smart here with another brand new video for Tutorials with GS and welcome back to another video if this is your first time here on the channel. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. We have plenty of other content on the channel regarding video editing, image editing, computer tech tutorials and all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested in that, I highly encourage you to subscribe and hit that post notification bell button to stay up to date with all the latest videos. Now today we're looking at uh, the Yahoo homepage here, but if you've ever been curious or wondered what Yahoo may have looked like. 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 15 years ago. It's very easy to find out now uh, with a cool little tool called Wayback Time Machine. And uh, it's actually a Wayback Machine, but it's basically a time machine sort of where you can type in a URL of a page and it will show you an old version of this. So this is a great tool to show you older versions of websites. It's also a great tool to show you deleted content as well and even to show you uh, news stories that may have been updated or that may never be updated or claim the or, or claim to be updated but never were updated so it's a cool little tool so for example if we were to look at uh, Yahoo here we go and copy and paste the URL here we press enter and the way this website works it basically gives you a graph up here showing all the screenshots or all the cached versions that have been archived to this site here now, as you can see, 2017, they take plenty of pictures every day. But if we go back to, say, 2005, for example, and this was over 10 years ago, we take a look at, for example, we pick, uh, let's pick April 22nd, and we click this cached version of the website. You'll see this is how Yahoo looked literally so many years ago. And I remember this site. This is exactly how it looked like. I used to go on this site here, log into my mail, click mail up here. This is how it looked like. Compared to today, Yahoo Mail looks pretty much completely different. And you can do this with a lot of different things. I mean, we can even look at things such as YouTube.com. The way YouTube looks today, completely different from the way it looked when it first launched, the way it looked 10 years ago. So it's a really cool tool that you can use to you'll know, see the internet's history. As you can see, this is YouTube today, but if we go back, say all the way back here, here it shows us YouTube on February 28th. So it looks pretty much different. So it's a fun tool to use, but it's also a useful tool to use. Say for example, you deleted a blog post on your website. Say for example, you deleted a web page or an entire website or you lost it and you only have the URL now. Well, you can bring that website back or you can view old pages that may have been deleted on this site as well. A good example that we have here is actually a PDF that was on the United States Department of Labor website where they talk about uh, certain rights that they're building up for LGBT communities in the workplace. Well, it seems like this PDF has been deleted. Now, why it's deleted, who knows? No one really knows. But if you were to go and take this PDF, and if you were aware about this PDF when it was first released, and now you're noticing it's been deleted, well, we can go ahead and paste this link into the search bar here, and you'll see that we can go back all the way to 2015 and view the original PDF that was first released on the website, and here it is. This is the exact same PDF that they removed from the site. So you can see deleted content very easily if you know that it was there before or if you know that you posted it yourself, you can do it on Wayback uh, Time Machine here. Another way you can do this also is by taking a look at cached versions of websites. So say for example, you look up a news site or say for example, you know of an article that you looked at before and you can see cached versions. So for example, the BBC News right here, if you click the down arrow here, you can actually see cached versions of a website, which basically show you a snapshot of how it was uh, recently. So it, you have to have visited it before, and also has to have been recent. 
if if you're looking for something that happened two years ago, Google's not going to give you a cached version. Uh, the other the other caveat here is that you cannot use Time Machine also for private profiles such as Facebook or such as Twitter. They don't cache that. You also can't use it for YouTube, and mainly because for certain sites it may go against copyright. Uh, for certain sites, it also may be impossible to archive all these. The people that run this site they archive books also, and they archive a bunch of things. So having to archive every video page on YouTube or having to archive everything on YouTube takes a lot of space. So they don't even bother archiving YouTube stuff. You'll also notice that sometimes you may run into an error code. So say, for example, we wanted to see an archived version of the Daily Mail. You know, let's say this is an article that got changed recently and you know that it was changed recently. If you wanted to see the change that happened and two days ago this article looked different, well, you could just take the URL and paste it in here, but you'll notice that some sites actually have a way to prevent this, which is called robots.txt which is a file that doesn't allow uh, archiving sites like these to archive their site. So there are certain scenarios where this doesn't work, such as for Facebook pages, YouTube video pages. If it's something that's really huge, that constantly gets updated every day, such as YouTube, or if it's private profiles, such as on Twitter and Facebook, they're not gonna archive that. But also be aware that some sites prevent this site from archiving, other sites don't. So it can be a useful tool. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it will not work. But that's basically today's video. I just wanted to share this site with you. I wanted to share this tool with you because it can be very useful. And if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like. We'd really appreciate any questions or comments, suggestions. If you know of other, if you know of another method to retrieve old sites, go and leave it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Plenty of other tutorials on a channel, tech-related, software-related, editing-related to images, video, audio, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to check out the latest video on the channel, go ahead and click the annotation right here. If you want to check out another video that might interest you, click the annotation here. If you want to check out all of my other channels, including my vlogging channel, click the annotation here. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can also click the annotation here. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GS Mouse Smart, and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.